Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 3 of Dratnos' interactive Skyrim Let's Play. Uh, so the responses are in. We've gotten a bunch of responses for actually all three of these choices, which uh, makes it pretty hard on me. Thief was the most popular by a bit, followed by Warrior, and then by Mage. Uh, so I've decided that a good way to do this would be to go with kind of a... Uh, I, I want to have a mix of all three. And, of course, I'll select the Thief Stone, because Thief won. And the skills I'll focus on from Thief will probably be, like, lockpicking and, uh, pickpocketing. And maybe a bit of sneaking in as well. Um, and light armor. Then from Warrior, I want to kind of have, a, a, like, a dagger in one hand, and a shield in the other hand, and also be able to switch out to healing, which would be from the Mage. So that's, that's the plan. Uh, so let's go ahead and activate the Thief Stone. When you activate one of these stones, you get uh, all of the skills under that stone 20% faster. Which is why I pick Thief, because the majority of my skills are going to be Thiefy. So there it is. It's gotten activated. Shot a laser up into the sky. Now it's shiny. And there's lines on the stone. That's good. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Seems legit. Uh, so let us continue to accompany Raloth to wherever it is we're going. Uh, let's check my inventory, actually, and see what kind of weapons and apparel would be better now. Uh, suppose we could go... We'll go with sword in one hand and shield in another hand. And we don't have a shield right now. Okay. We'll go with sword in one hand and a dagger in the other hand. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oop, sorry. And so, yeah, there's, there's our character plan. This game is... Okay, so this isn't Stormcloak territory. Alright, so the Imperials, remember, are our enemies. Because there's currently a civil war happening in this country uh, between the Stormcloaks and the rebel king Ulfric Stormcloak. And, uh, the Imperial... Ooh, there's a wolf. There are two wolves. Okay. Hiya! Ha! Hiya! Gotcha! Shh! And I know I could be doing more looting, but I... Part of the reason that I don't want to be, like, too much of a sneaky thief is because looting is kind of boring to watch. So, we're gonna be as fast-moving as possible in this Let's Play so you can see as much stuff as possible. That seems fair. Also, I'm going to try not to die, because that also means you'll be seeing stuff again. So, I, I, I always try not to die in video games, but in this particular instance, I'm going to focus on that more by probably going into some restoration magic and also using a shield. Okay. Riverwood. Look at this. Oh, look at this town. This is absurd. This game is so good. Looks like nobody here knows what happened yet. Come on. Gerd is probably working in her lumber mill. What? Ooh. A lumber mill. Ooh, and there's a guy carrying a log of lumber. From the lumber mill. That would make sense. That would be a good place to carry a log of lumber from, for the most part. Let's see, maybe we'll get to see some of the beautiful, dynamic, commentary, talking thing. I've got another character that I'm playing by myself, but this one I'm, is going to be completely different, because my other character is kind of weird. And is also Imperial. Girder. Girder. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerder. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who's this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet. A friend. I owe him my life. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Pod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Sven drunk on the job again? Pod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha, I'll be right down. That's that guy up there, I guess. Are we waiting for... Ooh. Uncle Rayla, 
Can I see your ads? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Ulfric Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. How come he gets to sit? I can't sit on this. I can't remember. That's absurd. Maybe I can sit over here. Where to start? No. Ooh. Harvest plant. Ooh, hello, ants. Us outside Darkwater crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. I just lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live? I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. I can confirm that there was in fact a dragon. We'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. We're the only to make it to Riverwood. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Okay. Sounds good. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Yay! Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Okay. Oh hey, we can take take gifts. We can take some bread, some carrots, some cheese, some mead, a lockpick, some more mead. Ah, some potions. Those will be useful. Some apples and a tomato. There is something you could do for me. Ooh, we can do a quest! There's a quest! Uh oh, Riverwood is defenseless. Uh-oh, Riverwood is defenseless. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Deal! Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. Sweet. I get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric's Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? <laughs> Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Ooh, this looks harvestable. Yes, thistle. Sweet. You can do alchemy and stuff with things you harvest and make potions later. And I can sprint by holding the alt button, which makes me go like this. And I can hold shift to walk slowly, and otherwise I'll go at this kind of median pace of runningness. Which is, it's between the sprinting and the walking. And it looks like I walk at just the same pace as them, which is fantastic, because in most games, you walk faster than everybody and run... Wait, no, you walk slower than everybody and you run faster than everybody, which is a pain. But here, I can just hold the shift button and the W button and accompany these delightful companions of mine on a slow, meandering trip to their house, to Hod's house. So, to recap for anybody who doesn't know the story, um, we were about to be executed, and then a dragon came and stopped us from being executed by breathing fire on stuff, and then we escaped, and there's a civil war going on, and we're on the rebel side, and... That would be that. In we go, I guess. Is Raylof gonna go in? Yeah, okay, so you... you there's a nice, like, going into a building animation in this game. I approve. It's pretty cool.
And there's a nice loading screen, which doesn't last very long. Oh, hello. Okay, we're inside. Wow, this is a nice house. Uh... So you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Much bigger than that. As big as the inn. Well, I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand. I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Yep, good idea. I don't like dragons very much either. Um, let us let us examine what is inside this chest. We can take their gold, but we can't take their scroll because it's got red there. Ooh, there's a book. You can read through these things, but to be honest, that that lasts about like the first three books you find, and then you don't read them anymore. Steel dagger. That's a nice an upgrade from my uh. Other one? My iron one? So you'll see it says a weight and a value for each thing you're looking at. So generally, if the value is a lot higher than the weight, it's worth carrying. Otherwise, you might want to kind of leave it. So like these bu baskets, or buckets, don't have that much value. So you wouldn't want to take it. But I don't want to just walk around looting things. That's boring. I'll just search this chest briefly, because chests often contain the best things. A deer hide. Nice. Okay. So yeah, this looks pretty similar to Oblivion, but that's about where the similarities end between the two games. Oblivion is the, of course, five years old version, uh, previous installment in this series. So, what's our, what's our quest? Let us, let us examine our quest. We need to talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. So, I guess we're venturing by ourselves to Whiterun. This is going to be fun. Let's go. Dun 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 dun. I'm sure there will be some nice fighting on the way. Ooh, hello. What is this? Wow, I can actually harvest the salmon on here and get some salmon meat. That is pretty cool. And there's a bridge which you can go under or over. Let us go over the bridge because... because that seems like the more intelligent way to use it. I imagine there will be some wolves or other beasties on this path here. Oh! Let's see. Uh, as far as weapons go, I think I'll just, for right now, just use a sword in one hand and keep my other hand free for blocking. Because you can block by, yeah. And if I block and then press the left button, I kind of forward uh, pummel. Ooh, hello. Hello, elk. Oh, wow, that was embarrassing. No, come back. Where you go? How can you? Okay. Ooh, whoa. Fine, be that way. I didn't want to kill you anyway. That's a lie, I totally did want to kill that jerk. What a jerk. What a jerk. Doo -doo. There's a house over there. Let's see, shall we be distracted and go examine the house? We'll have to figure out our morality at some point. Uh, whether we want to be kind of good, evil, or some exciting combination. So that'll probably be the end. The question at the end of this episode. Just going to do a little bit of foreshadowing here. Ooh, that. Wow. What are what are these guys? Uh oh, those look like Imperials. Yeah. Citizen, I'm warning. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. Huh? What a jerk. These Imperials are jerks. Citizen, I'm warning. Is this? Oh. Okay. Let us... Oh my goodness, let's do this. Okay. So we can free him and give him some stuff. Okay. So. Let's give him... Uh... Our iron battle axe. And let's see, do we have any... Nah, there's not really any armor we have that we want him to have anyway. Hiya! Yeah! Yo, goodness... Uh. You... Hey, uh. Huh? Whoa! Oh! Uh, Bollocks! Uh. Oh! Oh! Look at that! Oh! Wow! That poor guy! Owned! Thoroughly owned! Did our prisoner escape? Oh no! He's mildly dead. 
I will take our battle axe back, along with some imperial swords. Ooh, an amulet. Uh, dagger. Not gonna wear their stupid imperial armor. At least our guy died honorably. We'll take the dagger as well, because why not? And where's the last guy? Ooh, some gold. And another sword dagger. Okay, cool. So, that was, uh, exciting. We tried to free a prisoner, and, uh, we freed him from his mortal coil instead. Accidentally. Honingbrew Meadery. I guess they make mead here. wonder if there's an exciting quest in it. Let's see. Maybe they're, maybe they're Imperial sympathizers. We'll have to find out. I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew Meadery. Okay, boring. Until next time. If you need to sample some of the finest meads... You need something to do, or you just enjoy slowing down the hard work... Okay. Guess there's no side quests here. Didn't have to be hurtful about it, though. Jeez. That was mean. What a jerk. I guess that's what an alchemy lab looks like. That's where we can perform alchemy. I remember in Oblivion you had to actually carry around all of the, uh... Alchemy stuff, but doesn't look like that's necessary anymore. Not sure how I feel about that. Probably, it's probably a good change. They probably did focus groups and stuff and found out that it was positive. Ooh, there's a white run guard. Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. It's raining. It's dismal. There's a stream which we will ford. So there's a nice. Windmill granary thing there. I wonder if there's actually a spinning uh, grain churner inside. Let's check. Yeah, okay, of course there is, because this is Skyrim and everything in Skyrim actually works. Oh my god, that's so cool. We can actually activate it, which I guess it'd only be if the windmill stops working. We can manually pump it. Chill furrow farm. Ooh, we can harvest some of their wheat. Eh, whatever. That'll be boring. Trying to make this exciting. Only the excitingest parts of Skyrim. But I also love the dialogue of this game, so... This talk of dragons, yeah. World gone mad, I say. So there's Whiterun. Reminds me of a lot of, uh... Rohan from The Lord of the Rings, actually. Whiterun. Let's see if we can find a way inside. I guess this is like the outer walls. Yeah, that... I guess we kind of approached from the wrong angle. Ah, not a problem. Let us... Let us sprint around to the other side. Ooh, and those are arrow slits. Hopefully there aren't mean arrow people on the inside waiting to use those against me. Not sure if they can do that, but I imagine they can because it's Skyrim and you can do everything in Skyrim. Ooh, hello. That appears to be a plant. But not just any plant, that appears to be a Nernroot. Yes, Nernroot. That's a very... The Nernroot were, was a big thing in, uh, in Oblivion. It was this uh, rare plant that you could only harvest once before it would never regrow, and you could use it to make some really powerful potions. I'm not sure to what extent that's still in this game, but I still instinctively go and harvest it every time I see that glowing greenish root. What do we have here? The White Run Stables. Could always steal their horse here, but I imagine that's probably not a good way to go about making friends with a city. And, ooh, up here, I guess, is the... Uh, the way into Whiterun. Nice fire effects here. Nice smoke. Because everything in this game looks brilliant, even on, like, moderately bad graphic settings, which I'm on so that I can record this. Also, a quick optimization trick. If you're playing this on a PC, and you're not using an Xbox 360 controller, change the setting where it says using Xbox 360 controller to no, because otherwise it does weird mouse acceleration stuff, which you don't like. Ooh. Official business only. Official business only. Let's see. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. That would be Persuade. Stand aside or else. That would be Intimidate. Probably a bad idea. I'd say Persuade is probably our best bet here, but we could also bribe him. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. All right. Persuasion worked. Nice. There's always kind of a... Ooh. Yeah, you always have to kind of figure out what's the best uh, talking option in these kinds of games. 
Pyrite is the Daedric Prince of Tasks, Order, and Pestilence. Nice. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Yeah. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Damn those Grey Manes to Grey Mane or Battleborn. Uh what? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn. Um I'm assume Grey Mane is the rebel side here and Battleborn would be the Imperial side. You're either a Stormcloak sympathizer or a fool. Yep, I was right. You're no friend of mine. Alright, we'll kill that guy at some point. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's see. Guess we're heading up to the top of Whiterun. After this brief lag spell passes. No lollygagging, no lollygagging I guess. Up these beautifully carved, handcrafted steps. Let us see. Huh. Absurd lag. One sec. Let's try waiting a bit and seeing if that'll help things out. In this game, you can wait time, and uh, time will pass, and it can become daytime. So right now, if we wait 10 hours, it'll become 8 a.m. And you can see the shadows slowly move. It's really cool. Yeah. Ah, there we go. That seems to have fixed the lag issues. So, here we are. Yeah. Wow, there's there's White Run Citadel. This game is visually very impressive. Very impressive. I'm gonna go in third person a lot. I'm not an Imperial. Oh, well, I guess my, yeah, race wise, I'm an Imperial, but allegiance wise, I'm not. We'll have to develop a backstory for that at some point. That's minor issue. In we go. I know where I have to go because of the compass, the arrow on my compass at the top of my screen. You want to duel? Ah, oh, damn! There's no option to duel. Okay, let's do that. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes. I did, yes. I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. The Imperials were about to execute Ulfric Stormcloak. Then the dragon attacked. Guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? Oh, he's. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The Earl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suit, come. Let's go find Faringar. My court Oops, I accidentally skipped some conversation there. Looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I see. So, uh, let us let us let us finish this conversation a bit. 
and then we shall determine what we're going to do next episode. We can uh, we can decide whether we'll do the main quest or start doing side quests. Uh, I know we can go join the Stormcloak Rebellion and fight against the Imperials if we want to do that, or we can do the main quest, which revolves around these dragons. Or we can join, like, this Mage's Guild thing, or this Fighter's Guild type thing, or even this Thieves' Guild, or this, like, Assassin's Guild. It's all pretty cool. Yeah, fill me in. The old thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yep, probably. Given the dragons. Use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Well, at least he's honest. Just tell me what you need me to do. To begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? Yeah. I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone. The dragon stone. The dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Cool. So. Um. To Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Jarl is not a patient man. <sighs> Let me give you a brief two-minute primer of this, the political situation in Skyrim. This is a map of Skyrim. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Nice. So, this is a map of Skyrim. You were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Really? Shut up. I'm, I'm looking at a map. Go away. Um... There are nine holds in Skyrim, and they're all kind of independent. Some of them fall more on the Imperial side. Some of them fall more on the uh, Stormcloak side. And Whiterun is the one we're in right now. It's sort of in the middle of everything. So it kind of matters which way we can make it swing. We'll, of course, try to make it go Rebellion. Um, and there's also a battle map, I believe, up here. Yeah. So this shows the current state of the war. I guess right now, White Run is Imperial controlled. That's kind of bad. So I guess the Jarl here sympathizes more with the Imperials than the Stormcloaks. We can probably change that, though. Or we can attack White Run and take it over. Maybe I'll be installed as Jarl. That would be pretty cool. So, yes. Um, the options now. The, the basic question we're going to ask here is what are we going to do? We can go about the main quest. We can join any of the guilds, whatever you want. We can just do miscellaneous quests, or if you happen to know a specific quest you want me to do, uh, you can leave that as a suggestion. We can do Daedric quests, which da the Daedra are kind of like the gods of this world. They're kind of the evil gods, though. There are the Nine Divines, and then there are the Daedra. And the Daedra are sort of the bad guys, and the Nine Divines are sort of the good guys. But the Daedra quests are all kind of fun, and they le leave you with uh, some sort of super powerful enchanted weapon or armor. So we could do one of those if you want. We could try to find one. Uh, additionally, we could join the Stormcloaks Rebellion now and actually do the Stormcloak quests against the Imperium, which would probably mean we'd take Whiterun over at some point in the first few quests. I'm, I'm sure that that would be one of the first things we'd do. So yes, the whole world is out there. What shall we do first? Thank you everybody for watching. This has been Dratnos. Goodbye.